Hello everyone, I am Norse Scorpio and welcome to Colat. I figure with Halloween approaching, it's time to bring another horror game to my channel and especially one that I I saw months ago when it was first released and instantly went I have to play this game and bought it and installed it and then haven't fucking sat down to play it since and that is partially because of computer issues when it came out I was dealing with those and so I kept having to reinitialize my computer and stuff uh, and then I just never ended up playing because I have a big thing when I have to start something new that I have this apprehension to do it because I don't I don't believe in myself but enough of that <laughs> this game looks really interesting and I cannot wait to finally give it a go I know or I believe I know the trailer was yeah, animated it was animated all by Sean Bean can you believe it he acts and he animates it's narrated by Sean Bean I don't know if the whole game is but I knew the trailer was so without me rambling on for too much longer let's fucking get in with it on with it in with it that's not right at all and yet I started a new game I haven't played it, I just wanted to make sure that I was not in a place that inhibited anything. And it doesn't seem that way, at least for now. Um, if the if a map pops up at any point or something like that, I will... I will move myself, but... 56 years ago, Russia, the northern Ural Mountains. A group of nine students of the Ural Polytechnic Institute embarked upon a difficult winter expedition to reach the Ototen Mountain. Their journey seemed to progress according to plan. However, on the seventh day of their trip, the weather conditions worsened. They lost their orientation and were forced to set up a camp on the slope of the mountain called Kolat Siakl. It was their last stop. Three weeks later in Yekaterinburg, when their families received no word of their success, the first rescue expeditions were sent. On February 25th, 1959, an abandoned encampment was found. The tent was torn down and covered with snow, with all the group's belongings left inside. Further examination revealed it was cut from inside out. The surrounding footprints indicated the crew had fled the tent. They were barefooted. This suggests a frantic escape, characteristic of people scared out of their wits. Two sets of prints led to a forested area down the slope. The rescue team found an improvised fireplace, and two bodies. They were lying in but their underwear, with cuts and scratches to their limbs, suggesting they had tried to climb the tree in panic. What could terrify them so much? The next three bodies were found scattered a few hundred meters from the first discovery. One of them had suffered a fractured skull, this despite no evidence of a struggle. It took the spring thaw, two months later, to enable the rescue team to find the rest of the victims. The last four skiers were found buried in a thick layer of ice and snow. Their autopsies led to even more bizarre findings. All of the bodies had severe internal injuries caused by an undetermined force, similar to that of a serious car accident. No external damage nor bruises were visible, besides a tongue ripped from one victim's mouth and a strange orange skin color. Much speculation arose from these puzzling events. Such theories included attack from the local tribesmen, from an avalanche or animals. Each theory, however, only served to create more questions. The truth behind this tragic course of events remains unexplained to this day. What really happened? Maybe the answer still waits to be discovered, deep under the snow. Oh. What's gonna happen? We start our journey here. With the howling winds. Okay. Ooh. 
Someone singing to us. Can we go anywhere here? It almost... Oh, God, I can't jump. Oh, I can crouch. So I suppose I'm not meant to go far off path because this is all see this is the thing I can hear my own footsteps but because I know this is a horror game it's already got me slightly on edge that I know something's gonna happen it's not the fuck oh it's just the snow It's just the snow. It's just the snow. <laughs> ah. So I wonder what we're supposed to be doing here. We I'm assuming we've arrived at the with the train. Though it's kind of eerie, isn't it? Why are there no other people here? Is it just that they didn't actually make any other people or Is this abandoned for some other reason? We're back walking in the snow, causing me to freeze up slightly. Always good. The fuck was that? Okay, that's the trees. Got my eyes like glued to the forest as I'm walking because I just, I expect to see something. But all I really see are trees. Who's insane enough to walk down this path we are, I tell ya. We fucking are. Am I going this way? Good. The music changes at just this fucking moment. What the hell is that noise? Where do I go here? This way? Or this way. And what is that? Is that just the trees? This is not okay. Fucking daylight out. Okay, if I hold that down, I sprint. Kind of unsettling, though. This is bringing me back towards town. What the fuck? Oh, wait, is it? No, this is behind town. Every once in a while, you just have to stop, right? Just gotta stop and make sure that there aren't a second second sound of footprints that just happen to be matching up with your steps. Yeah, this is just me heading back to town. Shit. Yeah, this is what I... Oh, God. You can only sprint for so long. It's probably a bad idea to be sprinting anyway in this weather. Now the music is completely gone, and all I have to welcome me is the sound of the storm. And creepy things 
half seen in my peripherals. Way am I going here? I can only assume I'm going this way. Which is probably a terrible assumption to be heading into the wilderness like this. Chills running down your spine. The violin picks up. Actually, this sounds a little bit too deep to be a violin. Oh, God. Well, fuck me. I know this is where I'm headed. Into the woods, it's time to go. You're coming to me. Am I? I see footprints. Oh, what the hell? I hate to leave, I have to go into the woods. It's time to. Oh. I found a cave? If ever there was a time to not head into a cave, it was when you're all on your fucking lonesome. All by your lonesome, rather. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> fucking. In the end, the only thing I saw was a flash. I'm still alive. I'm still bite. fucking alive. The pain ripping apart my body. Where the hell am I? Tearing out of my soul. After a while, I was nobody. Nothing. If I... The light went out and I vanished into overwhelming darkness. I welcomed the end with delight. What? Did I... Oh, what's that? What the hell's going on here? Press A. What is right behind me? 